The roots of biotechnology can be traced back to over 6,000 years, to the time when beer was first fermented. The Egyptians were the first civilization to use biotechnology in selective breeding. They selected their favorite types of wheat in order to make the kind of bread that we still enjoy today. More than 30,000 corn varieties are crossbred to develop favorite gourmet popcorn. The juicy apples we enjoy now were once about the size of cherries, wrinkly and extremely sour. This was all before the advent of biotechnology that helped make them what they are today. And what about life-saving advancement in biotechnology? The earliest advancement was 170 years ago with the discovery of microbe. In 1859, Darwin published his revolutionary book on the origin of species. Six years later, Gregor Mendel, who is considered the father of modern genetics, discovered the laws of heredity and laid the groundwork for genetic research. Near the turn of the century, Louis Pasteur and Robert Koch provided the basis for research in microbiology. These numerous advancements allowed modern biotechnology to rise. James Watson and Francis Crick, using crucial evidence gathered by Rosalind Franklin, discovered the double helix structure of DNA. Key advances in biotechnology that followed include Nirenberg and Khurana deciphering the codons of 20 amino acids. The 1973 breakthrough discovery of recombinant DNA became the platform for research in cloning, genomics and proteomics. was the landmark year in biotechnology history. The Food and Drug Administration approved the first genetically engineered product. Human insulin was approved for use for diabetics. In 1988, the Harvard mouse, a genetically altered mouse susceptible to breast cancer, became the first patented animal. In 1996, Dolly the sheep was cloned. The International Human Genome Project, a 13-year effort, was launched in 1990 and reached completion in the year 2000. The goals of the project were to identify and sequence all of the genes in the human genome. In 2003, 
the Broad Institute was founded in Cambridge to give scientists access to the Human Genome Project and to understand the molecular basis of diseases. In 2007, Craig C. Mello, a University of Massachusetts researcher, shared the Nobel Prize with Andrew Fire of Stanford University for discovering a special kind of RNA that can shut down.